Good morning, Chapel Hill. I'm Rob Hutchinson, the piano player. Hope you're doing well and have yourself a cup of coffee. Uh, this particular cup's been here for a couple days. Uh, thought I may be coming to you from the keyboard, uh, but I'm actually out in the garage. And um, what's been going on is uh, behind me my lawnmower. Um, is uh, having some issues. Um, you see it started off at the uh, beginning of the crisis, uh, you know, started her up to, to mow the lawn, ran for about five, ten minutes, and then just died, would not restart, and uh, it was starting to run terrible. And um, as, I, as I go through this each week, um, I'm saying there's got to be a lesson in this somewhere. So that's why I'm trying to do my devotional out here in the garage um, to, to go over this today. Uh, what we're going to look at is Philippians 4. Uh, let's start reading Philippians 4, verses, um, verses 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Um, anxious about everything. I know I've had some of that going on, um, whether it be uh, the kids driving us nuts, or... Uh, you know, the coronavirus or, um, you know, hand, hands washing, sanitizing, putting masks on. Uh, boy, it's easy to get anxious and uh, kind of unsettled during this uh, pandemic. Um, but this is just a reminder to all of us. Uh, God's saying, um, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. There it is again. Mike's talked about that several times. The peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Uh, finally, brothers, whatever is true, noble, right, pure, admirable, lovely, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. I think that's a reminder for all of us is to focus on uh, what is true. Mike talked about the truth uh, last week uh, with his sermon um, and, and to focus on the truth of Christ. That's very important and a, a reminder um, in that verse. Um, this, this mower is in a lot of ways has been uh, tricky to to work on uh, of course i started off with uh, oh we just need to change the oil okay done it okay change the spark plugs oh got that done uh did you change the air filter well change it last year does it need to change every year did you uh, do this did you do that I mean, I have, and every week has gone like this. Um, of course, I could have taken it into the dealer and then I've been looking at five to a thousand uh, dollars in repair on paying for something that might be a simple, maybe a very, very simple thing. So, hey, what else am I doing right? I'm stuck at home. Might as well jump on YouTube, uh, try to get this thing fixed on my own here. And, and this being anxious about everything is, is really speaking to me. Um, and, and then let's, let's move over here to the, the other uh, side of the page. Take a look at verse 10. Um, I actually skip over to verse 12. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I've learned the secret of being content in any and every situation whether well-fed or hungry, living in plenty or in want, 
I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Um, this being content, of course, uh, speaks to all of us in this uh, pandemic. Um, you know, whether it's, it's being out of work, whether it's uh, depression, whether it's addictions, whether it's frustrations, whether it's kids driving us absolutely nuts. Um, whether it's, uh, speaking of that, that's another reason why I'm out here is I haven't been interrupted yet, if you notice. Um, I love my family to death, though. They're, they are great. Um, but, uh, anywho, um, there's a lot of things uh, that give us this uh, discomfort uh, and he's telling us here to be content in every situation uh, and the way to do that is through Christ who gives us strength. Now with the mower um, of course it's a frustration because uh, each time I order another part I'm like oh well so that's gonna fix it two, two three days uh, get my part in put the piece in Nothing. Same thing. Okay, now let's try to figure out what's exactly the real problem is here. So we change the blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, that's got to be it. Yep, I think I've got it. And then here we go, two, three days later. Oh, same thing. Absolutely nothing on the engine. So, uh, I'm going to have to take a... Um, listen to this verse in my myself here um, because I'm you know I need to be content in every situation and and through Christ um, I can be content uh, in this situation there's there's always something that uh, God's teaching us in a, um, day to day and this is just a, a simple reminder for all of us um, about these verses in, in Philippians 4. Um, just for comedy sakes, uh, here's what I'm down to at this point. Uh, of course, I don't really know exactly what the problem is, um, but... Uh, I'm going to be content in, in whatever happens here when I have cleaned off my valves and, and those items. And, and who knows, I may eventually be down at the shop getting this thing done. But um, I'm going to be content. I'm going to trust Jesus. And let's go ahead and pray this morning. God, we thank you for our church family and what you're teaching us here in Philippians 4. Um, ask that you be with, uh, be with the leaders of our country, leaders of our states, uh, leaders of our church, be with Pastor Mike, um, be, with, be with our church family, uh, lead us and guide us and help us to be content with you in every situation and give you praise in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys, see ya. Well, I had a few broken off bolts, certainly a few more frustrations, but uh, finally, frustrations are coming to an end. <laughs>